Guys. What is up, everybody? Happy Friday. Welcome to the Burly Love Podcast. Here for we all are. For all of you watching us on YouTube, for all of you listening to us on Spotify, iTunes, and every other platform. Hello, everybody. Hey, guys. What's going I'm on? getting good at that. We're, we're getting on a roll. We've been doing this several months now, and we're just yeah. growing, and the fans are just being so good to us and treating us so good, and so much love out there, and it's so good to be here with you two guys, I guess. Wow. That's all I got. Wow. Yeah. Thanks, Joe. You're welcome. Mm. I'm always starting everything off. Are you going to say anything or just brood? <laughs> I'm just looking right now. Brood, I'm Andy's like, what, the, the Johnny Depp? Well, we love his quietness. We love his sunglasses. He doesn't, do it. He doesn't I care. I can't stay out He's of trouble. He's not saying anything because he doesn't care. When I, when I don't talk. Matt and I are out here putting on a show for you. And they're like, oh, you two brothers. But Andy, with those smoldering eyes and know. his Johnny Depp-like facial hair and his sunglasses. It's working for him. It is working. It's definitely working for At him. At some point, though, he's going to have to talk. And you know what's going to happen? He's going to sound like David Beckham. That's what's <laughs> No. David Beckham is the greatest looking guy in the whole hello, world. Everybody. He comes up, he goes, he goes, well, hello there. <laughs> You're like, what are you, Gollum? What is this? <laughs> it's so true. It, it, actually is kind of true. it really throws you off every I time. Like, it does. Yeah. He's such a cool dude, and then he's like, hello, 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 hello so and great like, to be here. Mm. I am the world's greatest oh. soccer player. I'm the beautiful, most beautiful man in the world. It's like, I don't, that's incredible. It you know who else used to throw me off back in the day, not digress? It was Mike Tyson. Oh, oh my God. He comes up, I mean, I'll never forget as a kid watching Mike Tyson the most physically menacing human being ever, and he opens up and he's like, and that's why I just want to tell everybody that I'm just so much a lover, and I'm going to destroy you in the ring. And you'd be like, oh my God. However, this guy's that. trying to put, no, he's trying to, treat, he doesn't actually sound like this. <laughs> I absolutely do, and I didn't mean to bite his ear, but his ear was in my mouth, and I took a chomp, and it tasted pretty good. Anyway, he you know what's amazing? Have, have you heard, have you heard? Oh, yeah. Holyfield, he took a chunk He out actually of has gummies. Yeah, that are in the shape of ears. Evander Holyfield's ears. Have you heard oh, his God. quote going around social media? He says, "You discipline mm-hmm. is doing things you don't like, like you love it." Yes, and I love that. Oh, I actually saw him say it, that. It really rang. It, like it got in. He got into my head discipline. and actually changed it's some thought patterns, which is pretty, pretty darn cool. Do anyway, we have all a right. pretty cool episode today. Uh, this is definitely important to me. Um, it has a lot to do with you know eating and gardening and food and farmscaping and all these cool cool things. Um, who so is it, Matt? Well, who is it? Tell us. Okay. Yes. This person has a new show coming out on Nat Geo called Farm Dreams. Oh, Farm Dreams. Welcome to the show today, Indy, everybody. The amazing Indy. I feel like playing like... I'm, I'm sure you haven't heard that your entire life. <laughs> what a cool yeah. name. Yeah. I hear something know. crazy. Super cool. Indy. And wait. I wish so my funny, name was Indy. Because we were talking a little bit before the show. And you said, you know what's so funny is that people always say like, oh my God, that's my dog's name. Yeah, it's such a dog. And name. I want to tell you, <laughs> there's, a, there's, there's an anecdote that for all of you Indiana Jones fans out there, and, and Matt and Andy and I are huge Indiana Jones fans, especially the first three films. Those are the Indiana Jones movies in my opinion. You know, you Crystal, like Crystal Skull. I hated Crystal Skull. <laughs> and Dial of Destiny was... You know, it was good. It had Enjoyable. look. I liked moments. Never it had a lot it. that oh. I wished that it had that it didn't have. But anyway, that's a whole other episode. I'll get into my <laughs> my pet peeves about that last one. But regardless, in my one of my favorite ones, I think arguably my favorite one was Last Crusade because I love the relationship between his father, uh, Sean Connery, mm. who was Henry Jones. Yep. Okay. And remember, uh, Indiana Jones. His, he was named after his father, okay? His name was actually Henry Jones, which is why his father called him Junior, okay? Mm-hmm. Junior. Now listen, now he said, cousin, Dad, Indy's stop. cousin. No, you're Fifth getting, no. Brother-in-law, well, sister. Here's what I was going to go with. Jane Jones. Here's where I was going to go with it. Can I finish where, where I was going to go with it? Which later <laughs> opened up a restaurant on Santa Monica called Jones. <laughs> here's the best part of it. Joe's like, oh no, but that's a whole other episode. And then goes and starts talking about it. You're like, wait a minute, you're doing that whole other episode. That is, dude. Listen, this is what I want to say. Hold on. Now the trivia of Indiana Jones, we know everything. No, you don't. Because I'm going to finish the sentence. Here it is. His father's name was Henry Jones. Indiana uh. Jones was named after his father, which is why his father called him Junior. Do you know what he, why he calls himself Indiana? Because the dog's name was Indiana. Wow. So to your there point, you and you oh. said that, that's full, full circle. When you circle. said people often come up to me and say, my dog's name is Indy. That's Indiana go. Jones's name. His dog's name. It is literally Indy. reminds me of like on It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. You know that We're like meme? You know that. Okay. Like yeah. that, that like, you yes. know where Charlie has all those like. Yeah. Thumbtacks, and yeah, he's like, it. "Yes, that's yes. what you just did." I did. <laughs> You're like, "Here's yep. Sean Indy, Connery's over here, but Indiana also like here. Sean Connery, yes. and then like his dog, and yes. then we're opening yeah. up a restaurant." Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. restaurant cover. That was something new. That was just added. I added. Well, I love. I, I got a little... horrible. <laughs> we are going to open up a restaurant. It's coming soon. I don't know. We always talk about opening up. Oh a restaurant. We love food. We're Italians from the East Coast. Yes, 
<laughs> Speaking of food, we love farm grown food. Yeah, Honestly, well, my yeah. favorite thing when I go into a restaurant is seeing like farm to table oh because God. then like Absolutely. you know at least like it's going to be some real stuff without whole, hopefully a bunch of chemicals. Right. And it's always like what farm, what table. I feel yeah. like that's what Farm Dreams answers. It's really? like really? Yeah, cool. yeah, because if you've ever watched a home makeover show, Absolutely. you know, you're you're like they like move the bus yes. and yeah. Yeah. Yes. I used to love that show. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. exactly what Farm Dreams is. It's like I go cool. in and there's a farm and they're like the quintessential like farm to table entity right. and they're like, hey, we're having a few problems. Like, we can't reach this market, or you know, our tomatoes are withering. And I come in and I get some information from other farms, and then I bring that back to the really? original farm. Really? I know. I'm doing Ooh. my own like kind of thumbtack. No, but like, you have to yeah, because yeah. you're okay. explaining people what this show is. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. It's almost like it's almost like Queer Eye Extreme Home Makeover, but for farms. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Wow. I know. It's so, so much fun. So you're going in, and these are are these going to be like organic farms, like no GMOs, no uh, hormones, all that kind exactly. of stuff. Exactly. It's cool. the best farmers that you could ever meet. And it's also, so each episode is themed toward a different style of farming. So we see like an aqua farm where they're growing kelp. So cool. And Love I know. And and clapping. Sorry, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry for everybody. It's so I got hard excited. not to clap. I know. I know. We're gonna, yeah. Yeah. Really excited. sit on your hands. The percussion instruments. Yeah. yeah. Tambourines. It's so hard not to the clap The maracas. <laughs> <laughs> Matt's excited. You know? Why did, who yeah. gave Matt a triangle? <laughs> no, who gave Matt a triangle, <laughs> little, everybody? Little finger bells. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Ding, 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 ding. ding, 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 ding. Yeah. Yeah, um, right. but I feel so like cool. the determination thing. What were, who was that? Mike Tyson or something? Yeah. yeah. That, okay. Yeah. Okay. So I had that same experience with tomatoes when I was a kid. Like I hated tomatoes, and I was like, "Dude, you got to eat tomatoes." Mm. People are talking about lycopene. There's like commercials at night about how good tomatoes are for you. Yeah. And I just kept eating them until I enjoyed them. Hey. And now I love them. Really? Like, did there you guys you. feel that way about I, I, like vegetables? Know, I hated tomatoes I growing up, and I love tomatoes. Hated now. tomatoes, and I still don't like them. Uh, <laughs> I love them. So maybe I just need to start wow, eating that was them. Horrible. Horrible. I'm yeah, gonna, you Mike know. Tyson on, you I know? know. Why yeah. did he like, give us the mislead? You know, yeah. I used to hate tomatoes, <laughs> and, I, and, and now? I still don't like them. So certain you heirlooms said happy. I like. Oh, okay, okay. Which ones? I don't know. Okay, are there yellow ones? Yeah, yellow ones. Now they're less acidic. See, that's what it is. No, yeah, yeah, not. like a nice, like sweet, like yellow yeah. tomato, like a sun gold. Mm. Yes. Well, Delicious. heirlooms are not as uh, acidic either. Heirloom yeah, tomatoes, like, yeah. Um, there are some that are yeah. more acidic than others. But it's like we grew up with the like classic, you know, school lunch. Like I grew oh, up. Yeah. Okay, so like I, I'm a farmer, okay. but I didn't grow up with agriculture as like the forefront of my upbringing. Like I ate like. Hot pockets and like just yeah. pizza rolls and just like whatever. It was like the grab and go era where yeah. mm -hmm. food was just kind of a like social experiment. And so going back to that as an adult was really important for me being able to usher in like a new generation of people who love growing food. Are your this is family farmer? How would you come no to family no farm? not at how all. Did you, how did this? How did yeah, you, how did you get into it? So random. How did you go to hot pockets and like you know what? I'm gonna grow my own stuff. I know, I know. I'm gonna make these and hot like, pockets. This is so cool. Up. Hating tomatoes. I know. It's so random. So okay. So I was a kid and I was a, I was like kind of a chunky kid. Tbh, okay. you know. I was okay. just like I was really quiet. I grew up in the middle of oh I grew up in um, Mayberry. You know Mayberry? Yeah. The Griffith Show. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 that thing, yeah, Opie, the whole, <laughs> exactly, exactly, yeah, that was the soundtrack to my childhood, <laughs> yes, there was probably that part, right, exactly, exactly, oh my gosh, yeah, I know, so I grew up there, and I was like an awkward, I was like the super quiet kid, like, it's so funny that you guys are all brothers, and you're like, brothers and we like love each other i had an older brother who's like my bff and he's awesome that's cool but i was super overshadowed overshadowed by him because mm. he's so cool so i was okay. like he's cool he's mm. super cool Is he? and i yes he's way cool okay. and i was like <laughs> Awkward. That's I was just like. That's what Joe. I knew that was coming. I know yeah, Joe I set know. himself they up. They know I'm kind of a big deal. Oh, that's, oh. <laughs> that's our favorite quote from Anchorman. You know when he goes, "People know me." I it's... haven't seen Anchorman. Oh my gosh! Wow. I know. Well, we were talking before. Wow. You love Step Brothers, which you do. Yeah, you I love, love Step Brothers. Okay. We're gonna love Anchorman. Really? Anchorman is it's pretty so funny. funny. I'm gonna the like first one. put it on my list. Too much money, too big. But the They're first one was great. But the first one was the first one. In my opinion, is the. There's more than one. They made a sequel. They made a sequel. Do you have to watch them in order? 
Yeah, kind of. Probably, yeah. Okay, the first one, because the first one's good. They go from yeah. normal and the other cable news. Okay. Yeah. 24 hour <laughs> <You're right>. right. <laughs> news. It was a great idea. <laughs> because the first one takes place you. in the 70s. Yeah. It's like an anchor man in the 70s. <laughs> so it's all about the classic 70s workplace environment that was really bad. You okay, know? okay. And, 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 and the sequel takes place like the turn of the new decade where with cable news. Because he was a local <laughs> yeah. news guy, yeah. right? The twenty four hour news. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, I've got to watch it. Okay, okay, okay. So good. what is what does so, any of this have to do with farming? Okay, I don't so, know. Okay, guys. So my brother was cool. I wasn't cool. <laughs> Perfect way to bring us back. <laughs> yeah. we get and off then, um, and then, okay. So I was super awkward. Ate a lot of hot pockets. I was a chubby kid. I think a lot of people can relate to that. Like I mean, I, a lot I, of people I, were I, like, yeah. you know, you, you like didn't realize that the food in grocery stores isn't food because this was a new thing. And my Absolutely. parents didn't realize that either. Like, yep. Yep. it was just like, hey, this is food. Like, you know, my mom's like working constantly and like she's an incredible person but it was like okay so like here's a hot well, pocket nobody or taught her something. either yeah. you know? so yeah. there was never that yeah. knowledge or foundation uh, in, honestly, in fact it I, goes in a little deeper than that it's not that we we weren't taught we honestly the information was kind of withheld from us what that food we was. were actually exactly. we were actually taught to think that was food yeah, yeah. i right. mean honestly what people don't realize yeah. is as long as you stay on the outsides of the market you'll be okay They're still right. Telling, right i mean the fresh right. produce it's is true. Yes. You'll be okay don't go yes. inside yes. Yeah. it's the center with all the you know synthetic foods still so telling, telling people that Cheerios are better than than like meat fruit and loops. fruit loops. Fruit, fruit loops. Fruit loops are above yeah are above meat. meats and dairy. Really? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's wild. It's yeah. really it's really bad. Anything yeah. with an ingredient list, it's like don't Stay away. you know like I you know. don't need a list. Like it is just mm. it just is what it is. You well, know? also yeah. they get away with what, what what's our biggest pet peeve that, that you know oh. no artificial colors or flavors, right? So uh -huh. sure you don't see the clearly cancer causing things like like yellow number five and B, red five. But then they then they then they hide it under it's what's called best. natural flavor. Natural oh, I know. flavor, which and is so when you do mysterious. like when you when you, yeah. it, no, when you research it. No, when you research it, there it's right there. I mean, it's it's there are these chemical compounds right. driven from a natural compound, but right. they've been turned into something that's exactly. incredibly bad for you, and right. they they very consciously put it under natural. Because your brain goes, oh, it should be okay. And they write on the box. Not. It's preservatives. No preservatives. It's all the bad stuff. No, no it's, it is. The <laughs> and it is preservatives. Of it's course. so sketchy. And, like, I feel like it's one of those things where I never want to go on this, like, big tangent. Like, oh, my gosh. You know, because everyone tunes out. They're like, okay, yeah. like, here's this, like, girl, like, talking about, you know, fluoride in the water and, like, freaking hey! out. You know? Yeah, no, <laughs> yes, I know, yes, I know. Yes, I know. Yeah. But, but I feel like just to, like, bring it back to, like, a super base level, I think a lot of us grew up with, like, fake foods and then realized hey all you have to do is like stop eating the hot pockets and the toaster yep. strudel Processed or whatever just and just like eat regular degular food i know totally. and then for me it was like you know i grew up in like a small town raised by a single mother and i was like okay like time to just like eat a vegetable <laughs> and then i went to the grocery store right. and it was so expensive yeah. i couldn't mm -hmm. afford it and I happened to be checking out at the time and, you know, checking out at the grocery store and I saw that they had packets of seeds and it was three bucks. It was three bucks and you could grow 50, it was a 50 seed Amazing. packet, 50 tomatoes. I was like, 50 tomatoes? Where I can pay like, Smart. you know? Give someone a fish. Bucks for 50, feed them, exactly. Yeah. Give someone a fish, feed them for a day, teach them to fish, feed them for a lifetime. So. <laughs> that's such a funny, I love that expression. Yeah. That's a it's crazy so story. funny. Like, that's big, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I know, yeah, I know, true, it's though. so true. The, 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 the seeds, seeds, you know. Exactly, yeah. so, okay, so then, so then I went home and I was like, okay, I'm gonna grow this stuff. And then I realized, oh, like this is why tomatoes are so expensive because it takes a lot of energy and a lot of time to actually grow them. Kind of yeah. wanted the tomatoes this week, but uh, it's dirt stuff. I'll try it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here's you one. Start, like, <laughs> I got it. There it is. Is that a pomegranate or a tomato? It's, a, it's, yeah. a, it's, a, it's like a raisin, but it actually is a tomato. There you go. Exactly. Yeah. And so then I just went down that rabbit hole of like, mm. how do I grow better produce? Like, how do yeah. I get better at this? And, um, you know, I went to agriculture school. I went to a few different classes. Cool. Everything that I could afford at the time, I just, like, immersed myself in that area. And then I also um, started volunteering on different farms. Cool. And so then I worked and worked and worked towards feeling like I can kind of tell other people how to grow food. Mm. And it's really cool. that's when I moved to L.A. And then luckily I got the show where that's I awesome. got to just – go around the U.S. and teach people how to grow their that own food. So it's rad. awesome. I know. I know. So it's cool. it's super cool. It is really cool. Yeah, I it's love really it. Fun. I it's like so important. Look, we are what we eat. 
I mean, that is the oldest expression, but it really is true. I mean, we, we truly are, we eat. And all these things that we keep coming across, and all these things keep rising, like diabetes, uh, ob uh, obesity, um, cancers, heart problems, all these things. And if you just go back to the way we're eating, you could see as we introduce these processed quick foods, all these things started to increase. I mean, it's so obvious. They're saying exactly. that colon cancer is one of the fastest rising cancers, and now they're you know they just lowered the, sc the screening age from 50 to 45. They're saying for some reason all these people in their 20s and 30s now are getting colon cancer, and it's like, Wild. how is that possible? And it's probably because of the, of the insane amount of processed food, of course. chemicals that are in our foods. And it's crazy too because even if you're even for snack foods, I'm a big snack food guy. You know? Everybody <laughs> loves snack foods, right? Yeah, but, but, but I a feel huge like snacker. but I, but I, mean, I feel like massive. But I feel like it is so hard to find clean snacks, right? That's there is so literally, true. and I'll give them a shout out now. There is one potato chip uh -huh. that is from Trader Joe's. Uh -huh. That is literally made because you know can canola oil is not. I know not, not all of good. the like weird seed oh, soybean oil. Soybean oil, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's all garbage. Yeah, they yeah. say yeah. healthy, so just nothing, no artificial anything. But the soybean and the, and the cottonseed oil, these are crap, yeah. horrible mm -hmm. for your body. Yeah. So there is olive one oil, potato olive. chip that has sea salt and olive oil and potatoes, and that's it. They're made with what? olive oil. That's it. Hmm. Nothing else in it. And yeah. I wish, like, I thought to myself, and I know it's more expensive, but like olive oil at least is a real oil. Right. So like what it doesn't make any they have an olive oil popcorn and they oh, have an yeah, olive oil potato I've tried chip. That. That's and it's nice. very good. Mm -hmm. And you at least feel like, okay, this is not like the best thing for me, but at least it's just olive oil and sea salt and some potatoes. Well, totally. to bring it back to the ingredient list. It's mm -hmm. I feel like that's always a red flag. Like, yeah, when there's, I just like I just like simple shit. Like I like Exactly, just foods, like basic basic stuff. I just like yeah, there's basil. Four things in this. Some Why are there I don't need, things? Yeah, I don't I need just maybe a sprinkle of salt. Yeah. A dash of pepper and I'm good. I don't need like yeah. 50 million different things. Just the guar do. gums and the xanthan I know. gums. I know. I know. All the things. gums. There's These a are lot serious of gums. gums. I don't know. I know. I know. It's... Remember that gum that was like the um, the zebra gum? Yes. yes. Oh, oh my gosh. So good. Oh my gosh. Stripe. The I know the fruit stripe gum. gum. So wait, that was that so good. Gum. That has nothing to do with no, anything. That was but... really good. Was that Toys R Us gum or was it they just sold it at Toys R Us? Did they? You always it had a it had a it had a giraffe on it. Yes, it did. So it was like Jeffrey. The giraffe. No, it had a zebra. A zebra, on. It was a zebra, but I thought it was a giraffe. So he was okay. I see. What you're Maybe saying. that's what it was. But that's no, the they had it. It was the wide pack. The stripes. They had I purple. Didn't realize. Oh, I remember it. Well, it was zebra gum. It was yeah, yeah, yeah. By far the best. Each piece. And then yeah. they had it didn't a, last very long, which is why you had to eat the entire. Pack it's true. In exactly. Minutes. Then they had another flavor that was like a lighter pastel. I don't know if you remember that. They had, <laughs> you were such I was a connoisseur of this. I was into this gum. You're like, I don't like tomatoes, but I know every gum that was ever released. It was a tropical fruit variant. Boom. It was a fruit variant. They had like the primary colors. Red, green, oh yes, right, yellow, yeah. purple, yeah. and yeah. then the tropical one was pastelli. It was delicious. Huh? So good. it reminds me of this Podco logo. It, it, I yes. do love that. I mm. love that. It's such a like classic '90s yeah. color yeah. scheme. Yeah. 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 Right? It was I our idea, it. actually. No, it wasn't. But uh, it was the whole idea for Podco was our idea. <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't. But, we just decided to partner okay, up okay, with Okay, but to, to bring it back home, I feel yeah. like if you love like the Trader Joe's potato chips that only have a few ingredients, then that's like the first step to just showing up at the farmer's market and supporting yes. your yes. Yes. Local, local farmers. farmers. Every, yes. I try because, to go every like, Sunday. Yeah. So which one, which one do you go to? Sherman Oak. It's a good one. By my house. I, I, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like if everybody just goes and supports their local True. farmers, yes. you know, in- good point. Like physically, financially, monetarily, Absolutely. emotionally, yeah. um, and that's so much of what the show is about. Is just so, like awesome. is like farmers. Farmers are the backbone of America, and everyone likes Absolutely. saying that. We're like without like what farmers, without there's far nothing. But then it's like, what's going on with these farmers? There's a lot of young farmers out there. There's a lot of different types of farmers yeah. who are struggling to make it, and so just like being able to provide that kind of support, being able to go and say like, here's what I've learned in my years it's of growing so food, and here's here's how your farm can improve. It's I, awesome, I, and I, I, I gotta say this, I mean, not only are they the backbone, but we need to look to farmers right now. They are fighting a major war yes, they are. right now. They are. And that to is me, the I was war. Just say, I mean, I look was what just happened, gonna... was it Netherlands or Sweden? Yeah, uh, Netherlands. Netherlands? Netherlands? So. And they won. Did you they hear won. the farmers? No, no, the farmers overthrew this. the government. Wow! They they, be, they they took over the government because they were on the forefront of industrialized governmental food mm. for everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here's the deal. That's where it's going. You know, I mean, I that's say, why Bill Gates yeah, and China own gonna, all of our farmland. I was going to say, you know, it, with his with as much money as. 
Phil has sunk into lab chicken. Yes. Why don't you put it into actually preserving farmland and growing some, continuing to grow good quality chickens that we can actually and consume. And into oh, missions right. like, exactly. it's so true. into yeah, missions so like true. yours, which is rehabilitating yes. the yes. relationship yes. between yeah. all of us and our, and local, our local farmers. farmers. Yes. Right. Because what that does is it kills, it kills so many issues with just one stone in the sense that now you're cutting down all the shipping costs. So yes. there goes your greenhouse gas. Absolutely. Right. Yes. You now have uh, farms that don't have to do the same soil tur tur uh, turnovers that these massives do yes. or have to use the pesticides. And the, well, the that these quality. Do. The quality is. So I mean, it is... changes everything. Not to mention, how Ugh. often, how often do you get your organic blackberries? And I try to buy organic, you know, whenever mm -hmm. I can. I know it's a little bit more expensive, but I, you know, everyone's got to pick and choose. Sidebar. Right, right, right. He but, loves but blackberries. I love I've blackberries never seen a human being. I eat them every single Such morning. A berry. A lot I of know. antioxidants. Like a, a lot of antioxidents, yeah. you know. I, I, you know, I try to. Bare yeah. A lot of antioxidants. <laughs> I just those bare necessities. <laughs> of Mother Nature's recipe. <laughs> Forget about your worries and your strife. Yeah. All right. Here's what's crazy is I go through them, right? I open them up because uh, uh, if I'm going to spend $6 for some blackberries or blueberries, right. I open them up. Organic, and I go through every single one. And I one. touch them all, but I don't like them, I put them back. No, exactly. but I look at them. Gross. All I do is open them and I touch the every single one. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I taste them. It's disgusting. And I close it back up, yeah. put it on the shelf, yeah. and I find one that's better. No, but they are all so many times, and I've called them over because I'm like, hey, listen, this isn't growing trees for anybody. I'm like, why are these moldy? Why are you putting mold ridden? And they're like, man, sorry. Oh, sorry about that. We missed that one. Oh, sorry about that. Every time. And I always find them, they're like, you know, here's the, here's the problem. This is to your point. Sometimes they come from Mexico or sometimes they're shipped from here. And mm -hmm. Sometimes they come from Austra New Zealand. I'm like, you're shipping these. Can you believe that? Why? These blackberries are coming from New Zealand? And, and wait. No wonder why they have mold by the time they get here. How could you possibly keep them fresh or in certain conditions where mold would not love to grow. I mean, to your point, why are we not getting them from two minutes down the road? Because they're growing blackberries right here. It's so true. I think it's because people freak out when they have to eat seasonally, right? Mm, like, right. we don't like to be, like, old, as you know Americans, what? we Great don't like point. to be told no. It's, it's like, true. no, I want my acai bowl. I put blackberries, coconut, whatever. It's like, dude, none of that is in season. What are you doing? Just yeah. eat mm -hmm. in season. Like, in season. eat like a normal, wow. like, consider yourself Squashing an animal. Fall. Like, yes. remember yes. that you're, like, an Water animal. Foods, we're part why, of food yeah. chain. take ourselves so far out of that is yeah. bizarre to me. Yeah. It's really weird. Yeah, so, like, just, like, accept the fact that, like, hey, you know, dead of winter. I'm not going to be able to have, like, it's a little be... smoothie bowl. Maybe you should have a warm, nourishing Butternut squash soup. Well, I was, there you I was go. Say, I'm a farmer. squash guy. I'm a big yeah. squash guy. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, so I, I and feel look like forward to the summer berries. Exactly. Look forward to the summer watermelons and these kind of things that are in season in those summer months. We all look forward it's, to. And it. then it'll taste better too because it's well, not so like you know you're not like oh man oh, like I can't have. Winters is horrible. Yeah. You ever buy it? You, first of all, you can't. Not to mention, I just disgusting. want to tell you about all those fruits too. Is you know the way they do the shipping so that they can keep them is they they pick them before they're anywhere near being ripe, they put a chemical on them, usually a nitrogen-based chemical on them, to further ripen them during the shipping process. So now you're getting a fruit that's been chemically ripened on a ship in the dark somewhere. It's so wow. wild. Matt, it's so wild. Matt, Matt told me the recently a fact uh, that you can take store-bought strawberries and, true. and grind them up and spray them and use them as a natural pesticide, pesticide. on oh your home garden. God, that's so terrible. That's how I saturated with I, pesticides they are. I hate to even think of it. Can you believe it's, that? It's like so disturbing. I was literally- I why colon cancers and these things are on the rise. Our bodies are siphoning through so many toxins just environmentally Absolutely. Daily. Absolutely. Right. You think about what our bodies do for us every yeah. day. Yep. All yeah. the toxins it's, that is oh my constant gosh. filtering, constant filtering, constant filtering. And now we're dumping directly into our bodies, not just from you know, peripheral fumes, those toxins. I mean, the body, what's the body going to do? It can only do so much. What so, do you, what's, uh, this is really a random question, but what's your, what's your opinion? favorite yeah. uh, perfume? <laughs> <Yeah>. what? <laughs> Andy, what the hell is about? I was just thinking, get, your, get, your, get back yeah, on the podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know weird. the blueberries? You know how there's <laughs> giant Wait a minute, you're talking about blueberries. We got I know, you're going to like this one. You know there's giant attention. blueberries? And yeah. Like sweet yeah. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. sized blueberries? Yeah, yeah, the snozberries. Are those giant blueberries, are they not, are, are they like radioactively charged to be that large? Why are they uh, pro Probably not. I mean, if okay. they're like main blueberries, you know, like blue blueberries in Maine are big. Big, okay. big cool. Mm -hmm. Berries. You know? They have like, like the sweetest like, batch, yeah. which is like bigger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, They're so not I like feel genetically like genetically modified. I mean, okay, so we're all kind of genetically modified. Like, I yeah. feel like mm -hmm. that 
maybe GMOs was kind of a distraction because, mm. um, you know, if if we were to just eat apples as they grow off the tree at, at the beginning of time, they would be disgusting. We'd be eating like little nasty crab apples. Yeah, but if we start, you know, yeah, marrying this apple mm-hmm. to that apple and selectively breeding for sweeter apples. Gala, yes, exactly. Exactly. Oh, I love a honey Maybe crisp. Then, then there. you end up with, you know, a better fruit. So I feel like modifying fruits in that way is is natural it's how we ended up i mean it it sucks because it's like how we ended up with things like pugs or like boston terriers or weird little animals like that you know i have a french bulldog (laughs) yes exactly (laughs) those that he looks like a blueberry he looks like an oversized blueberry Blueberry. it's a great name you can pull from old school you should have have named him blue oh Um, you're my boy blue he's he's really cute his name is shmi i love how you're like petting him he's a good boy he's a good baby he he seems like he tries Obsessed. He tries his best. He does. You see this guy who just barely says a word in our Instagram videos because he's too cool, but he gets home and he takes off his shades. He never likes to break. And he goes like this, Oh, Mr. Schmidt. <laughs> it's like this weird, you're like, you're kidding. Yeah, he's not kidding. I love my dog. So it makes sense. I love my dog too. I actually, bringing it back, I got a dog when I was filming this show. No this way. is the first no. show I've ever filmed. I'm not like a show filmer. Congratulations. So yeah. I could like use any advice that you guys have for like okay. post right. show filmery, if okay. that's if that's the word. Well, definitely you never use that phrase again. <laughs> <laughs> post show filmery? I feel like that was one thing good. That's like I was a like trademarking poker. it. I was like yeah. texting my yeah, agent if like there's a, filmery. It's like poker, so like your tell. Uh, you never show s- filmery is wow, probably really? not something that would roll off the tongue but, for a lot of films. <laughs> Show but I, I feel like if you add, okay, fine. Yes. All right, never use it again. My film no showery day. is. I'm uh, definitely going to use it again. It. Film show. Okay, yeah. Have you experienced show the. Filmery. Oh, show, film, film showery. Film showery. Oh. We just, we just, we did, we just <laughs> trademarked that. Sorry. Film show. How did you get involved in this? I know. We just trademarked everything. I know. What's going on over here? It's us versus you. It's us versus the world now. One trademark versus no trademark. Right, right. Exactly. Have you noticed, like, when you film something that when and you finally, after you've done this crazy month or two of filming, mm-hmm. you get off and you, you go through these three or four days where you don't know what to do with yourself. Oh my gosh, I had no idea. Okay, because that's like I said, to go through. I adopted a dog right. during it. Like in the middle of it, uh, there was this dog who, he's really awesome. His name's Okra. I named him that. Okra! Oh, I know, he's adorable. Shout out. I hope he's watching it. But he... <laughs> oh, she mentioned it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> what kind of a dog? Um... Fluffy, small and fluffy. Got him from a shelter. Um, He had both of his eyes removed. He like had like some. Yeah, he's blind. blind? I know. So he's not watching it. It's kind of messed up. He's listening. He's listening. It's a podcast. He's listening. Yes, he's listening with his like. We're not getting the viewerships, but it's okay. We're getting we're getting the numbers. Uh, Right, right. right. (laughs) One less. That's all right. Two ears, two (laughs) eyes. One less viewer. Um. So I was like, I have this dog, and like now I'm like at home, and like I don't know what to do. But I felt like it was a good mission. Like. I felt no, that is. really inspired by just hanging out with the farmers of America That's great. because that is so cool. I got to go to Alaska oh, and hang out with Alaskan farmers, which I feel like you don't think I've about. I wanted to go what to Alaska. Farmers? Yeah, what is that like up there? Salmon? Kelp. 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 Yeah, seaweed farmers. Super cool. cool. I went to this one farm called Seagrove Farm. They're all really incredible, and they're making all kinds of stuff out of kelp. Wow. Yeah, wow. like pickled kelp and like kelp as a vegetable, but you can also use wow. kelp um, in your garden as a fertilizer. That's right. I've heard wow. about that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so <laughs> being a host of a TV show where I was actually doing the thing before I started hosting that's the TV really, that's show, cool. it was like great because I was like, oh, yes, I can go back to like actually growing food. So I was so excited. Mm-hmm. I was like freaking out with my new dog running around and like, sowing seeds and just hanging out in my backyard but I did kind of wonder I was like well I like spent all this time with all of these different farmers throughout America what are they doing I hope they're okay Mm. so I did have that kind of feeling of like I wish I could fly back and hang out with all of them and see some of the things like Okay, so like in where it's one, gone, like the, the yeah, you get to circle back at some point. Okay, hopefully? so I did circle back. That's part of the show. Good, it's like okay. I like help them out, you know. Like I'm like move that bus, and like it's like great, and the farm That's is cool. is Very beautiful. Cool. And then I like fly back in. I think it's like three months. Okay. Past, okay. And I see how it's all going, and cool. some of the farms are. It's like they were all so beautiful, but like 
one woman had a baby and Aww. it was like she was pregnant when I first was right. hanging out with her That's and so then she cool. had a baby That's and so then cool. like they had baby goats and I, I don't want to give away a bunch of spoilers. Well, you're not, but that's really cool. Yeah. Hey, hey, I told you to grow. I told you to grow apples, not children. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know what the hell you put in the soil over here. Yeah. But, uh, I'm not responsible for any of this. Uh... <laughs> Where'd you get three kids? Where the hell did these kids come from? You get back to one farm, you're like, oh my, what the hell? <laughs> right. We they, couldn't do it, man. We couldn't hold on. <laughs> they turn into like an Airbnb. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Excuse me. He's like, no, I rented this place for a week. Right. Man, my oh my! What? This was, sorry. We sold sorry. the land, put up an apple. Like, like, sorry. I'm like doing ayahuasca ceremonies now. Like, good luck. Yeah. In Applebee's, it had fruit in it. I know. Oh, Apples, apple bees. bees. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of exactly. Oh my god, that's Makes so sense. funny. Exactly. It's so funny. So farm mm. dreams, wow. Nat Geo. Mm. I'll be watching. Yeah, it's one of my favorite Please channels. Do, yeah. And I love, really cool. I love the topic. Yeah. And you seem awesome. super cool meeting you. So I'm, I'm 100 percent in now. I try really hard every day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to, be, like, well, to be a little bit cooler than my brother. I was about to say, yeah. Just the like, brother, yeah. it just like slowly. I, you know, I, I, he's still I, way cooler. You're gonna catch him up. You're gonna catch him. But I'm, I'm like catching up. You're gonna surprise. Yeah, yeah you I, are. If, oh my oh, god, yeah, the show's gonna be a big hit. He's gonna be coming to you. Yeah, yeah he's gonna I know. be like, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm her brother. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. But it's one of those things that you never become cooler than your older. What brother. is that? I don't think so. Well, it's, it's no, like, oh, well, well, let's, let's slow Indy. the fold of Wait, Indy, Indy, please. No, I have to. Hold on. I have to agree with Indy. Hold on, hold on. Can you just because he's wise and you're an idiot? Can you just? Can you just repeat that one more you time? You never just... become cooler than your older brother. Like, I'm yeah, sorry. Like, true. you become weirder, stranger, maybe even more recognizable. No. But uh, never cooler. 100%. No, I have to agree with that. Never cooler. Weirder, it just is. Weirder, it is stranger. what it is. It is what it is. Like, when I was in elementary times school. <laughs> people used to call me, my my older brother's name is Brandon. They used to I call me his, his name. Okay. little, like, m people in my grade were mm. like, Oh, you're Brandon's little sister. In oh, my own grade. Oh my God, I was awesome. like, did we not like grow well, well, up? Let me ask together? you this, because we're all about siblings and stuff here, yeah. right? It's a family. Yeah, cast. yeah, yeah. So that's why I bring it what up. What made him so cool? Oh, he's he was just born with it. Charisma. Really? You know, it's, he's like, got was that. It, did he have like a swagger? Was it, was it just a like way cool? Outgoing personality? Mm. Was he funny? Um, like was it funny? Did, did, he, did he play sports? Yes, but all of it, I guess. Okay. Sports wow. being like Cool and I don't know. He's a good looking you know. dude. He's good looking dude. Uh, okay. Great okay. looking dude. Okay. Yeah. You all know, right. he's just like so he's, he's just like had it all. He's just like had it all. And yeah. May, and May, May Barry was like, we just can't get enough of this. Right. Right. Exactly. And I was sitting in the back, like eating fruit gushers, like <laughs> thinking, right. like maybe I don't know what that maybe hot one. pockets <laughs> creature is back there, but this dude's badass. <laughs> <laughs> totally. That's my totally. sister. Yeah. I'm gonna be a yeah. One day. yeah. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh my, yeah. They're like, sorry, I apologize. We're taking her to the Applebee's. Don't worry about it. You know, it's, and you know, it's funny, and I and I love this, but I always uh, would wind up being coming friends with the kids. I was one of those kids, one of those kind of off mm -hmm. kids a little bit, and I find that those off kids that have those little off things wind up becoming the heads yeah. of their or like pioneers in their field right. type of people. Right, because you have to. Work for you, no kidding. Because you have to be kind of weird, and you I do. feel like it's one of those things too that like farmers in the U.S. It's like they're really holding on they to are. this dream, and they it's are. like you could easily give up. Like there's so many ways that you could uh, sell your farmland or like sell your mineral rights or your water rights, it's and so just crazy. You know, and they're being pressured by everybody. Yeah, we're saying Bill Gates, everybody, yeah. Big Pharma, yeah. everybody. China, Bill yes. Gates in particular. <laughs> yeah, Bill Gates. Bill. Exactly. I mean, he's, he's responsible for about seventy-five percent of that pressure. Oh, yeah, yeah. exactly. Didn't Chris Nolan help us out by buying some foreign land for Inception. He did and for it. Oppenheimer. No. no, Inception. Uh, for the movie um, Interstellar. Interstellar, you're right. Interstellar. In, in that, those shots when McConaughey is driving away in that truck and he's crying, you know, from the daughter. No, all one, those cornfields you drove through, they wanted to do it CGI, and no go. one said, he hates I'm CGI. not uh, using CGI so for wait, cornfield. He, are terrible. He bought the land, planted the, the corn, corn. What? and then sold and it. And then sold it and made a made profit. Oh, wow. that's kind of creepy that he made a profit. I know. He should have just given it away. Actually. I know. And kept like, it. Give, like, and kept the story's the money. getting worse. <laughs> yeah, and they yeah. bought a chemical <laughs> plant. <laughs> and then invested. <laughs> this this invested. story just took a... It was such an emotional yeah, exactly. roller coaster. You're like, oh, yeah. the board? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. 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 Oh, it too bad so quick. And, yeah. and you, did that, you did that yesterday. Matt told the story. He's like, and it gets great, but then it gets worse. And you're like, oh, oh. Uh -huh. oh yeah. Yeah. Highs and lows. I like to keep you on the edge of your seat. Yeah. That's just the way I like to do it. Yeah, wow. Okay, so planted cornfields for yeah. real. 
Yeah. 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 So we. So where do you grow your food? Yeah. What's your whole? What's your, yeah, what's, your, your what's your deal? Yeah. Yeah, where'd you come from? Yeah. What are you doing? Oh, I don't here? go anywhere. How'd personal. you get here? No. Um, no. So I. <laughs> I use my name. Uh, right. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah. So I worked on a lot of different farms throughout my life, um, and most recently, I bought a small plot of land cool. near my house. To grow my own That's food, I which is, I, I'm like so excited about that. That's super that is cool. So um, that is awesome. Yeah. But when I first moved to Los Angeles, I worked on Skid Row, growing food on a rooftop farm with. Um, Amazing. Yeah, they're featured in the show Los Angeles no Community way. Action Network, and very cool. That was. I've like, actually read. I read that story about you. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're super cool and. Very cool. The unhoused population is like so disproportionately, of course, affected here. by food insecurity uh -huh. in of the United course. States. Of course. And to no fault of their own. I mean, I'm sure we all know someone who, you know, has just like fallen on hard times, has mm -hmm. unstable housing, uh, yeah, you sure. know, moved here to have a better life and then ended up on Skid Row for yeah. whatever, you know, host <clears throat> of different reasons. Yep. Um, so being able to work with that population when I first moved here and growing so cool. food in that community was really instrumental in me learning that, like, before that, I grew food on, like, beautiful, succulent, like, right. huge field. Right. Like, mm -hmm. the, the land was fertile, but being able to grow food on a rooftop in the mm -hmm. middle of Skid Row, that was, That's like, wild. my, you know. That's awesome. My, like, I was like, okay, now I can do anything. Yeah. Right. And... Um, what do yeah. you personally like to grow most? Like, what do you like to grow most? Because everyone's got something like, they're like, I just love the way. Well, Joe, it's probably seasonal. <laughs> have you not been listening? <laughs> yeah, Joe. You could still have a favorite thing. <laughs> a favorite thing right. to grow. Blackberries? Uh, Blueberries? Joe's. Not a. I'm not a <laughs> <laughs> He's leading you there again? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Possibly a, a berry <laughs> of some sort. <laughs> and possibly you have a lot of. A plethora of them <laughs> where you could share with your closest <laughs> friends who have you on their show. Okay. <laughs> Such a berry freak. No. Uh, a berry freak. Yeah. Yeah. I like growing things that you can like pull out of the ground. Root like vegetables. carrot. Yeah, root vegetables, cool. you know. Those are the you best. know the term. You're pretty the much in the industry. I'm, yeah, I'm learning. Root learning. vegetable. Okay, yeah. so like Radishes and also I love radishes. I love radishes. Our yeah. grandfather, our grandfather radishes. he'd make radishes. a radish sandwich. Yeah. He loved oh, radishes. I know. He right. loved radishes. That's, that's, really that's a little radish. radical. He'd pull them out and just eat them. He yeah. said, Joey, you know what I do? You take a little salt, a little pepper, and he make that noise when he was putting them on there, and then he just eat them. Whole really, <laughs> and that, and he called that a sandwich. Well, he made them in the sandwich with mayonnaise too. But, oh, you know, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. We don't talk about mayonnaise. I know. Yeah, he did. He put it on bread. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> why? Why do people on the East Coast love bread oh, so much? Why are they eating bread? It's got to do with the water in the bread. It's yeah. very specific. The bread you water. Put that on bread. The Italians bread in particular. Yeah, yeah. Oh my we, god. We, everything's on bread. It's but, so but weird. There's the so many half different half English, English Irish is all about bread too. I mean, yeah. it's all bread. So we're English Irish and Italian. So we're basically just bread. Like people. bread freaks. Yeah. Like I try not to eat too much bread. My dad. I'm done with it though. My dad's always like, I don't care anymore. Every morning I wake up, I eat a piece of bread. Yeah. Every morning he eats bread. Yeah. When we went to a farm, okay, so we went to a vertical hydroponic farm. <laughs> yeah, now you're getting in, into in, in New Jersey, which is Matt Jersey. Jersey. beautiful. Matt Jersey. I, I did. I absolutely love this stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right so into Trenton. Oh. It, it was in um or something. It, it wasn't a very it was a factory, very Might have been factory New York. type of oh, okay. area. Maybe, it Hoboken? wasn't far from New York. This is also where I got my dog. Yeah, they had a vertical indoor farm. Um, awesome. It's called Greens for Good. Cool. And they teach folks who are neurodivergent how to grow greens, how to grow veg. Yeah, like people on the autism spectrum, mm -hmm. you know, just wow. Differently abled individuals how to that grow their own so food. Awesome. So they're employing this, you know, subset of individuals who yep. otherwise not might able, not yeah, find yeah, employment. That's not really cool. not yeah, to that's awesome. any of their own fault, but just because that's like the world isn't set up that for so neurodivergent that's people. That's really cool. Yeah, and I met a really cool person named Finn um, who is on the autism spectrum, and he pretty much led me through the entire process of growing um, so cool. microgreens. I love microgreens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so cool with that. I mean, you can get a lot out of it. Um, yeah, yeah, like tiny, just tiny. It's what it, it's what it sounds like, tiny, yeah. tiny but, but veggies. You, but you, it's like a carpet. Yeah. And you just go, and, you, and it's amazing stuff. Yeah. Uh, but that's happening it. in New Jersey. And it's I was amazing, like, right? I thought New Jersey so cool. was all about bread. And like, <laughs> okay, so like on lunch breaks, people were eating a lot of bread. Oh, and I was yeah. like, what is, yeah, there's all parm, kinds of names. Chicken parm. Yeah, why? Yeah, yeah. What is that? Chicken parm. But but if you just hoagies and like <laughs> and chicken well chicken because cool, they have the chicken palm hoagie yeah 
Okay. You never had a chicken parm hoagie? No, I've had a chicken or parm hoagie. Or meatball sub. Yeah, I know. Yeah, meatball yeah, but, sub. But Thanks, it's so odd to go, <laughs> it's odd odd to go from <laughs> hoagie. Anyway, let's get back to this. because <laughs> I actually one, haven't gotten two. any of my questions, or at least oh, just okay, questions, okay, okay, just okay, things okay. I want to talk about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, farmscaping. Yes. That's one of my favorite terms. I just I just caught on to this a couple months ago, but I had been starting to do that. I started to change the plants in my yard Aww. to things that grow and produce things yeah. for you. Like, yeah. why would you put some tree? You go, oh, it's an ornamental. Okay. Oh my gosh, but yeah. it does nothing for you. In fact, detracts because you're putting something that doesn't necessarily belong there from some exotic environment. You're not going to, you're going to take away the, the, the natural flora and the soil, the it's whole thing. So true. It's, it's so like, I think that the, and I talk about this in the show a lot, like this is great. the grass American I, lawn I is one of the, <laughs> is, is one of the worst I mean, things yeah. that's ever happened to America I mean, you know I because you're like right. people love saying like pollinators, oh, I'm doing this for the pollinators, pollinator, pollinator. And yeah. then they have a grass lawn. And like to it's me, a grass lawn is like one of the most embarrassing things that you could have. I couldn't I'd, agree more. I'd rather have like, uh, and I'm a neat freak. I'd rather have like long laundry all over my floor than have like a grass lawn I mean, in I the hate front. Grass lawn. I mean, yep. freak. Yeah. Me too. Water yeah. waste. And yeah, leaves. water waste. And then like, you know, all of the pollinators and birds exactly. and moths and bugs that are on a migratory path, they have, they see your lawn and it's pretty much just like, you might as well like just pave your driveway. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. one of those, you, you know. Yeah. So I think that I'm Americans- the baseball field, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Americans get obsessed with like this aesthetic of like mm -hmm. everything needs to be symmetrical and- People putting fake grass. Yes, even oh, fake, you know, what you know, here is in Los going Angeles, on? Really this show, they're that rolling really out all around that. my neighborhood now. These, these, Plastic. Yes. Like, why? Like, yeah, what? Why do we so need to do? It's just like, plant some, yeah. plant some succulents or this is, some, no, but this something. Is, yeah. This is what I don't, this is what I don't understand. And, and this yeah. is what I don't understand and why plastic. a lot of the policies about the environment now are, are getting very weird because they're not making, they're not making the best choices they're for the environment. They're not making environmental sense. Right, which is really yes. weird. And it, and it really doesn't make any sense. I mean, why they're, they have all these laws when it comes to the water usage. You know, LA just, just recently got out of one of our worst droughts we've been having. But they never say what the what the solve to that is, and what and and it's a triple solve. Hey, bring back the natural plants that grow here. They're really pretty. Yeah. In fact, why do we have an overwatering? Do you know problem? this? Because do you we're know, trying to support life that should not wait, exist here. Right, do, you know, right. do you know this? That that beautiful garden in in London, in Europe, that it's one of the most coveted gardens in the world. Sixty or some odd percent of their plants are from California. We don't even have them anymore. We've wiped all out, all of our native plants out, and they're the most coveted plants in some of the gardens all over the world. Insane. And they used to grow here wild. We've wiped them all out. <laughs> We've brought in all these non-native species, which completely changed the the flora, which is the actual small microbes and insects within the soil that is the base of the food chain. That's where your produce come from. I'm right. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, you're so right. Oh, you just exactly. Her. I'm right, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> you just said, aren't I? You're leading the witness. You put in quotes. You were like, I'm Don't right, it. aren't I? Got, I, yes, I got right. caught on that. No, one. no, it's 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 so true. And like, I I get the aesthetic of <laughs> like a grass. <laughs> I get the aesthetic. Like, I understand. Like, okay, you you want to you know keep up with the Joneses or whoever yeah, lives yeah, next yeah, door. Yeah. But people don't even spend time on their grass lawn. Like no. who's like going and standing out in their lawn? No. Speaking, of, speaking no. of Joneses, Indiana Jones actually. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, 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 that was actually George? his dog's name. <laughs> <laughs> I, just don't, I, I just love that people are so obsessed with their green lawns. That like we said, they're putting plastic lawns. Right. Like who are you kidding? Right. Have that's, you seen these things? You drive by you're like, that's literally the worst thing that's you can fake. possibly do. What are you talking about? This is All that lawn. plastic. Oh my God. That, that's, that's fake. And that's, clearly, that if look, put it this way. It's plastic, right? If they're making it so that it looks real and the sun isn't bleaching, and then that right. plastic, you know how long that plastic's going to be on this earth? Just oh forever. God. If the sun can't even bleach the color out of it after years of it laying in the sun. Oh Not to mention goodness. what chemicals are coming out of that thing. Oh, when I can't the, even when imagine. Bleaching into the sun is yeah. Into the groundwater. Yeah. It's really bad. I mean, this is like, what? What? Uh, what is it going to take? Yes, I people like, wake up. What? I don't understand. It's so sad. What moron was like, yes, this is it. This will be our solve to yes. the environmental problems. Instead but of just like you said, naturally growing plants that can survive in an ecosystem that, by the way, thousands and thousands of years, no matter how much we think we know about, oh, it's the hottest or the coldest or the hottest. Really? We've been only recording weather for a couple hundred years. Well, how do we know if we were to step back outside of ourselves for one minute and go, this earth's been here for millions of years. Are you telling me, that you're gonna tell me that we're in a cycle that you can tell is the hottest or coldest? How do you know, really? 
What you can do is what you're saying, which is you well, find always, the plants that were here always, that have been surviving for millions of years. Always turn and those to the planet. Know what to do exactly because they've been through the droughts and yeah. they've been through the El Ninos and they've been through the cycles that you're trying to hypothesize about, but you got no clue actually what the cycle is. And I, I feel like part of it, like what you're touching on too, is that just like it's like that climate optimism idea. It's yeah. like okay, you can't guilt someone into right. growing their own food. You can't be it's like true. your lawn sucks and like you got to stop growing you that suck. and you need what? to start growing tomatoes in your windowsill. Like be a better person. Like no, everyone wants to feel good about themselves. Everyone has yeah, totally. wants to have that sense of ownership and responsibility and that they're doing the right thing. So I feel like just making those like tiny small changes toward having, you know, more, just like grow a tomato in your window. So like do, do the tiniest step forward because yeah. that's- garden, anything. Anything. Like, yeah, rosemary, no anything. natural. Anything. Going back to yeah. our grandfather, he always, no matter where they always. were, always was growing tomatoes. Always. Just to your point. You're always. Right. Always. We had tomato plants on Whether every it was balcony. an apartment, yep. whether it was a house, yep. whether, whether it was a, whatever exactly. it was. Exactly. Even he would have plastic bins. Yes, he would. And he would like have to move because yes. he yes. couldn't facilitate yes. where they would yes. live. Yes, he yes. He'd carry them out in the morning, our, move our around the sun. Our dad currently yeah. has lemon trees oh, yeah. And, yeah. and strawberries and zucchini. We were, it's and funny. Yeah. We've got this, we've got right this close thing where we might not have entered into the entertainment industry because my dad... When we were very, very young, before you were even born, was contemplating buying. The good days. Was <laughs> contemplating <laughs> buying a <laughs> fence. Oh, hold on. Always, I love, I love it's always a so roast. It is. You have to, because <laughs> the problem is he's he's a good-looking young chap. Believe it or not, believe, <laughs> it, or not, young chap. believe it or not, Indy, I have almost 13 years old. I know it's hard to believe. <laughs> I led you again. You could say, oh, no way, really? Oh, wow, no way. Okay, You're going to be one hell of a host. I, I know, I'm, I'm terrible at scripted. It was I'm unscripted. great about myself right now, and that's a host job. Oh, my goodness. Uh, no, uh, but, it, you know, so I, I I just try to make sure that I keep my edge until I'm until physically I'm so old that people are like, you're so much older than him, we could tell you're not fooling anybody anymore. Anyway, go ahead. I forget where I was going now. You were going to be a zucchini farmer. If no, you were saying our dad. Yeah. Our yeah. dad. So our dad was... Right when we were literally, it was like L.A., my dad wanted to buy a farm in this place called Bucks County, which is really close to where we were growing up, and, and become a farmer. Like, give up what? his business, do the whole farming thing. And it was like, literally, that was the... My dad's, our grandparents had a decision. restaurant. What? Had a restaurant. Yeah. They had uh -huh. a uh, pizzeria. Yeah. Wow. And they, and my, and my, was it, was it a, like a real pizzeria? Yeah. Or was yeah. it like a front? We're Italians no, from no, Italy. Well, it was oh. both. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, you Italians mean, from Italy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. They had a pizzeria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me just and tell you something. You're on the show, so you're fine. But no, but all due honesty, yes, there is a part of our family who was mob, yes. You're part of the family. Don't worry about it. Just when we ask you to come back, just come back, everything will be fine. So funny those lines, you know, I tried to get out, but they kept pulling me back, back in. in. <laughs> uh, that's great. Uh, no, but, the, and they made, um, uh, the, the recipe for their sauces was yeah. incredible. Yeah, it was. Um, and, I mean, the best sauces. Wait, do you guys call it sauce or gravy? Sauce. Well, like, sauce. but do you know how, like, there's people I, like, yes. well, well, like what's, what makes the it the gravy? Italian. Oh, okay. Northern it's Italians, Southern like different... Italians do sauce, Northern Italians do gravy. So it's more like a gravy in the sense that it's got, Thicker, it's hearty, it's got chunks of tomatoes, chunks, chunks. of onions. Southern, Southern, Southern Italian is, a, is a puree, thinner, Saucy. lighter. It's it's just, I love it. It's we my use tomatoes and carrots. Yeah, carrots. Sweeten it. Sweeten it. Sweeten it. Really? You, like, blend it? Like, put it in a Blender. Cannot tell. Can't yeah. tell. Like, why Secret, is this actually. not as acidic? Why, why is, is this so sweet? Mm, if you if you use it. heirloom tomatoes and carrots, it creates a really yeah. You're gonna really. Gonna I'm gonna out. try. I'm gonna you try. try it. Fresh basil. Yeah. So anyway, in fact, the three ingredients. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Right the, 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 exactly. Just three. There's a little salt. A little, exactly. a little salt. Dash of salt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Garlic. Oh, yeah. I like a little garlic. Little rose, crushed up rosemary. Here's what you do. Here's what you do. You put the garlic in there whole. You don't mince it. It'll flavor everything, and then you pull the garlic out. Pull the entire out. Yes. Oh, you so see, you put it like mm, entire. Yeah. Yes, and when you let it let cook, it let it let it uh, simmer hours, and then it, all the flavor comes out, and then you you strain it out, take it out. And yeah. the other trick I can tell you, if you don't have to worry about getting the carrots to the point that they're so soft, carrot juice. Mm. Yes, uh, works. Works give amazing. Give us some farming tips. We'll teach you how to make a good <laughs> sauce. <laughs> exactly. It's a yeah, relationship. I know. <laughs> you know exactly. Matter, yeah. matter of fact, yeah. if you want to do a little spinoff, we call it farm dreams and sauce. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's the worst. 
show idea. <laughs> Form the dream sauce. Form dreams and sauce with Indie Joe, Matt, and Andy. Oh, what's the worst title of any show I've ever heard? I like People will watch it. They'll watch it. Oh, it's won't they? funny. It's classic showery. <laughs> show filmery all the show way. Filmery. Isn't that right, Indy? Yeah, I think so. There we go, guys. I, as well, I, I gotta tell. I gotta say, I we. I did not know. This has been an amazing. Yeah, this movie. hour yes. has flown by. This I has know, been. We've, got, we've done this. Flying, yeah, it's it's, it's done. We're, we're wow. out of time. I have, like I don't wear a watch. I know. And I, I, I look at the sun. I have like a sundial. This one's like got, farmers do. do. This yeah. one self winds, and I didn't set it for a week, so I have no idea what time it is either. It says it's nine thirty. That's great because it looks <laughs> nice. It doesn't yeah. actually tell really time. Working. Either way, I didn't even get to half the things I wanted to ask you, but I'm really looking forward to your show. Yes, yes. Check it out, Nat Geo. Please, please. This is really this is really important with the amazing host Indy. Yes, it's all. It's, we need to bring this kind of stuff back into our lives, guys. It really just is just true. a little bit. Just bring a little bit. It is like parenting. You know, they say if every parent did their part with their kids, right? You wouldn't have to have these massive programs to try to make things better so because true. it starts at home. Yeah. Right? And it, it starts well, it really starts with the individual. Yeah. It does. No, it starts at. It does. Well, no, I think people don't realize that it's the butterfly effect. Yes, an individual can change the world. They can. You really can. Yeah, if you, if true. everybody just made like one little change. Mm. Right, right. One, I mean, one small thing. And, mm, and it's about it positivity too because yes, I feel like there's a lot of negative. Like, a lot of negative. Yeah, know. You know, like I, I get caught up in it too. Like there's a lot of like, uh, like serial killer show but like yeah. this is just like a wholesome good like this is the show of America and I, I feel you like folks balance. should, you, you know, the, the, the balance. balance. It makes you feel cool. good. Go it's out, grow a garden. And we may or may not murder a couple of tomatoes. Exactly. Come on. We totally lost. <laughs> that pairing knife? <laughs> yeah. Hey, this promo I'm watching. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. That could happen on Farm Dreams and Sauce. Farm Dreams <laughs> yes. and Sauce. Have you seen this tomato? Oh my and God. God. Indy. Indy, thank, thank you for doing this. Thank you guys. Really, and really everybody, thanks so much for watching yeah. us on YouTube, listening to us on Spotify and iTunes and everywhere. Try to we grow yourself you. some tomatoes. Yes. yes. Grow yes. some yes. rosemary. Yes. You'll love it. You'll enjoy it. Lemons, Absolutely. apples, anything you can. Oh. Seriously, it does start at home. We got to try to eat better. That's what's ultimately going to make us healthier. God bless everybody. Thanks for joining the Brotherly Love yeah, Podcast. Thank you. We will see you next week. Thanks, Indy. Thank you, guys. Hey, guys. The Lawrence Brothers here to thank you for tuning in and watching this episode of the Brotherly Love Podcast. That's right. And to watch clips from this pod, go to the Podco YouTube channel at the link in the description. And for exclusive weekly bonus content, join our Patreon now. The link is also in the description. And we will see you guys next week. Next week. Next week. Next week.